Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing two different enchilada recipes. I'm going to start off with like the classic beef enchiladas with red sauce on them. And then I'm also making homemade pico to go on top. And then for the second recipe, I'm going to be sharing a white chicken enchilada recipe. So what you'll need for the enchiladas is you'll need some gluten-free tortillas. I am going to use the Siete cassava flour ones for the classic enchiladas. And then I've actually already filmed the white chicken enchiladas and I use a different gluten-free tortilla in that one. So I've got a couple different options that you can use, but I'm gonna use the Siete ones today. And then for the filling of the enchiladas, you're going to need a pound of ground beef, five ounces of spinach. We're gonna chop up a whole yellow onion and then you can do whatever kind of beans you like. So I normally do either a can of like black beans or pinto beans, just whatever you prefer. And then you'll need some enchilada sauce. So this is a 15 ounce jar and I use the whole thing. Um, and this is the Siete brand, just their classic red enchilada sauce. And then for seasonings, you'll need cumin, chili powder, onion powder, and salt. So I'm going to chop up the onion and then we're going to cook the ground beef and saute the onion together. And then we're gonna put the beans in there. We're gonna wilt down the spinach, put all the seasonings into a pan. So we're gonna put basically all the ingredients go in this pan and then we just put the filling in the tortillas. So very simple. And then for the homemade pico, you'll need four Roma tomatoes. We're gonna juice two limes. And then you're also going to need some garlic and a yellow onion and then some cilantro as well. The exact measurements for this recipe are going to be in the description box. I'll just type them out um, because this is not like a Pinterest link. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the onion and then get everything started on the stove. All right, so I cooked all the mixture and then I do just a couple of tablespoons of the enchilada sauce in the bottom of the pan, assemble your enchiladas, and I also put a little bit of enchilada sauce in the mixture as well, like you saw. And then you just pour the rest of the sauce on top of the enchiladas and in the oven they go. So they're going to cook for about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes at 375 in the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making our pico. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up the tomatoes. And then I feel like the tomatoes is the bulk of it. And then we're gonna do like a fourth of a yellow onion. We're gonna chop that up. I previously, I think I've done two cloves of garlic and I've also done three cloves of garlic in the past. And the three cloves of garlic was like way too much heat. Um, fresh garlic will give off that like heat in your mouth and it was a wee bit much. So I would say do either one to two tablespoons not tablespoons, one to two cloves of garlic. <laughs> I'm probably gonna start off with one though. And then you're gonna do three tablespoons of chopped up cilantro. And then you just salt it to taste and just mix it all up and it's really good, very fresh. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on pico. They 
are done. So I just got these out of the oven and normally Ryan will top it with like some sour cream and whatnot and the pico. I normally eat them plain or top it with the pico and it's really good. So that is it for recipe number one and I will show you the white chicken enchilada recipe now. I shared that I was going to try out some gluten-free, dairy-free white chicken enchiladas. And so that is what I'm making tonight. So I'm gonna show you everything you need for these. One thing to note about this is I'm gonna link the recipe that I'm following, but it is a normal recipe and I am just substituting all the different ingredients for gluten-free and dairy-free options. So the recipe I'm linking uses gluten and dairy and all the things, but I'm gonna show you my replacement. So for the tortillas, I'm using these Mission gluten-free tortillas. And then for sour cream, I'm using this Kroger brand plant-based dairy-free sour cream. And then for the cheese, I'm using the BioLife mozzarella shreds. And then for the dairy-free butter, I'm using Country Crocs plant-based butter. And then for gluten-free flour, I normally use the King Arthur, the one-to-one -one ratio substitute. And then everything besides that is normal and or seasoning. So the other ingredients you'll need is a can of green chilies, you'll need some chicken broth, and then everything else is seasonings. So you'll need chili powder, dried cilantro, onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper. So I feel like the main thing to mention is just the dairy-free, gluten-free substitutes that I'm going to be using. But first things first is we need to cook the chicken. So you'll need two cups of shredded chicken, however you wanna do this. So you could do canned chicken, you could do a rotisserie chicken and pull it apart yourself. I have some chicken breast already that need to be cooked. So I'm going to cook some chicken actually in my air fryer and then I'm gonna shred it and use that to stuff the enchiladas. So I'm gonna get started with cooking the chicken. And when I use the air fryer, what I normally do is you take a chicken breast, you cut it in half, and then you lay like the halves on, like on the pan in the air fryer. So it's normally like two full chicken breast for halves. And then you bake it at 400 for six minutes and then you flip them and then you bake it again at five minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the sauce as well while the chicken cooks. Okay, they're ready to go in the oven. So I shredded the chicken and while the chicken was cooking, I was making the sauce. So you start with the butter, the flour, you let the little flour and butter paste essentially cook for one minute and then stir in the chicken broth. Let that sit until it started to like bubble and thicken. And then once that has started to bubble, then you add the sour cream and then the seasoning. So cilantro, onion powder, garlic powder, and the chilies, the green chilies. And then you just mix it up together, make sure it's all warm. And then I assembled the enchiladas. So what goes in the enchiladas is a cup of that cheese. And I used the dairy-free mozzarella and then half a teaspoon of chili powder goes in that bowl. So it was the chicken, the cheese and chili powder is the actual mixture that you roll up inside the enchiladas. And then you just pour the sauce over top. And then this is gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. And then you can also broil it for a few minutes at the end and kind of crisp up the top as well. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. All right, it's out. So I cooked it for 20 minutes and then I broiled it for three. So it's done, still kind of bubbling. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention is that I believe the recipe calls for eight tortillas and this is six tortillas. And normally six tortillas is what comes 
in that like gluten-free tortilla packet. So I've just done six this whole time and just used what I've got. So if you get them and you realize that it's six and not eight tortillas, I think it's personally fine. But if you want to try and squeeze two more tortillas in here, you totally can. But I've just been using the six. All right, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you like these types of videos and if you like the gluten-free, dairy-free content. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.